Okay. You should see my desk. I think I'm gonna do a little, a whole, take a little video. What is on the desk right now? Have a look. <laughs> um, this, these are some of my favorite products that I'm gonna show off to you guys. It's so weird. I, okay. So I'm trying to do more non-gaming stuff, right? And people wanted to know what kind of makeup I'm wearing, especially because lately I've been saying that I, I'm kind of wearing like non-makeup makeup, if that makes sense. Um, I, I don't wear a foundation anymore. I mean, now, obviously, there is nothing on my face right now. This is me. So biggest thing for me, okay, how do I even structure this video? You guys want to know what I use, right? How I get ready for recording and stuff? Right. Let's do it. Let's get ready. Come put the hair back. Eh. Eh. There. Clean face. So, maybe I should start with skincare. Which is not actually nothing really special. I do like, um, I use like the micellar water to clean my face every night. But that's about it. I'm currently trying out these. This is the latest thing I'm trying out. The brand is called Bye Bye? B-Y-B-I. And the packaging is really cute. It looks like this. Um, I like these. The the thing I'm, I've mostly been looking for in moisturizers and stuff is that they need to have protein, caffeine, vitamin C. Uh, what's the other thing? So tiny. This one is algae and hyaluronic acid. I've only started using these, these this week though, but I really like them so far. The best one for at night has been this one. It's Ren. REN is the brand. Um, it just says brightening dark circle eye cream, which, okay, so that's my life, okay? My entire journey is about making these seem less dark. And actually, it's been helping. I've been like really, I think the last couple weeks have been really good because I found this. <laughs> this is so unstructured. I'm so sorry. This this doesn't make any sense, does it? I am not a makeup person, okay? I'm a gamer. I don't know anything about makeup. I started experimenting with makeup when I was 31, so very late in life. Okay, I should start with that. The reason I wanted to do this video is because I started very late doing any kind of makeup and I still struggle with makeup but I found a very simple routine that really like works for me. It makes me look better and while still looking very natural. So I feel like if I had someone make this video for me when I was like 20, it would have helped me a lot, I think. I hope that someone is watching this who knows nothing about makeup, who gets very confused by primers, foundation, finishers, etc., like I did. And I have a very easy solution for you. That's why we're doing this video. I know it's super weird. I've been telling people on Twitch during streams, I've been saying like, I don't know, should we do this? Should I do a video like this? Cause it's gonna be like all this indie horror and all these games. And then suddenly out of nowhere, it's gonna be like my skincare routine, <laughs> which is just kind of weird, but people like the way I do my thing, I think. So they kind of want to know which products I like. And I've been testing out a lot. Okay, so we're gonna get ready together. So I clean my face, I moisturize, which is currently a daytime would be this, caffeine cream, this eye cream, bright eyed. I'm not sure if it does anything, honestly. Um, we're gonna find out. Also comes with a night cream, but that's, so I have, a, I have a day and a night version. Then I put on a primer first which you don't have to if it's too complicated. Uh, if you wanna keep it super simple, you don't have to do this, but this is just so that this baby sticks better. So this is my holy grail by CC Green. 
I've tried out a ton, a lot of primers, but the one that I keep coming back to is this one. Charlotte, Tilbur Ugh, Charlotte Tilbury's Wonder Glow. It says like, you can also just use this on its own to look wonderful. And I'm like, well, this on, it own, on its own is not gonna do shit, but I like the idea. So, okay, let's put this on. A nice little cream. <sighs> it has like um it has like reflecting basically there's something like glitter in it it's supposed to like kind of like reflect light off your face i think to make you look just more awake you know this one i also really like the it cosmetic uh oil free one so if you have an oily skin maybe this one's better but i have like a dry and oily skin like I have like an oily, I think they call it T-zone. But yeah, that's just the start. I just like having it on my face and I feel like this sticks better. So this is what I put on next. <laughs> it's almost empty. Um, normally just one pump. It's just like a drop is enough for your entire face. Yes. This is just a CC cream, which stands for color correcting cream. So I just put that mostly around my eyes because my eyes are like the problem area. Chin, because my chin gets red a lot around the nose. And almost nothing on my forehead really. Because um, it's so oily and the, the, the cream just doesn't really go in, you know? God, I feel so weird doing this on cam. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> and it looks so much better already. And that's just CC cream. Isn't that crazy? I mean, I still have like this massive dark spot, but um, I kind of, I kind of am at peace with it now. It has gotten a lot better though. The, the all the dark circle creams have been working. I think the key is just to make sure it's super hydrated, like use it at least in the morning and in the evening and in the evening i like to put this one on and just put it on really thick and just let it like soak in my eyes sockets basically oh eyebrow i forgot i need to get my eyebrow pen so i used to use a um i think you call it a pomade for my eyebrows for a long time because i had really thin eyebrows but then i started using um Grand Brow Eyebrow Serum. It's called Grand Brow. Um, it's really expensive and it's like one, it's kind of like this and it lasts four months. And you just put like one drop. So you just take it out like that and just put it on both your eyebrows before when you go to bed. And basically in four months, it grew my eyebrows back the way they are now. Like they're nice and dark now. I, I barely don't have to do anything to it. I switched to, I'm trying out this cheaper version, UK Brow. I don't know if you can see it. Does it focus on it? <laughs> not really. <laughs> I'm such a bad, I'm not, I'm obviously not a beauty YouTuber. I don't know how they do it. They've been great to grow my eyebrows back, but as soon as I stop using it, I start losing eyebrow hairs again, and it makes me very nervous. So I kind of just use this almost every day. Sometimes I skip a day if I'm too lazy, but my eyebrow grows down instead of up. It's just a minor difference. See how this like goes down more? So what I do, I just have this little pen. Oh yeah, this is um, Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Brow Wiz. So a little pen, a little brush. I'll just do it like this if I can. Oh God, because I usually just do it in front of the mirror. But I just draw this one up a tiny bit. So I just draw on the upper side of this one to kind of like bring this eyebrow up a little bit. And then the other side is really thin here on the outside. Well, not really thin, thinner. Thinning on the outside and a little bit below. That's it. So that's eyebrows. Anastasia, Beverly Hills, Brow Wiz. Perfect, nice, I like it. Okay, now the best discovery that I've made. Oh, holy grail, the 
The brand is called Tatcha. It's a concealer, basically, for under eye concealer, but it's a moisturizer at the same time, which is why it's amazing. I think, I think this is why my eyes have gotten so much better. A concealer that doubles as an eye cream. So I'm constantly basically putting eye creams on that are supposed to reduce under eye circles. And I think because of all those, because I'm combining so many different ones, I think it's gotten better. So what I do for this, I grab the tiniest bit, like the tiniest bit. I dip my finger in it, that's enough. And then I just like put a little bit there. This eye needs nothing because this eye is fine. Oh, I feel a little light here. Yeah, kind of just like put that under my eye. So this is so nice because it's basically just a moisturizer cream that's tinted. So it just feels like I'm putting on a cream, which is so much nicer than foundation, you know? <laughs> you know? I know everything about beauty. But yeah, this has been amazing. I can keep layering it though, because it's moisturizer, so it doesn't really matter. I could put on a ton more if I really want to. But yeah, this thing, this, get this. It's amazing. So I am really bad at eyeshadow. I just can't figure it out. That's like the part I'm still really bad at. I always seem to end up on a color that doesn't really match my face or just doesn't work. I'm not used to it yet. And because I'm very pale, this is like ivory. This is the lightest shade they have. I don't know if it's true, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think they said that if you if you're really pale, it's nice to use like pink, peach um, to kind of like liven up your face. And I got this one re recently. This is um, Too Faced Natural Nudes. And honestly, I wish I knew how to use these because they look amazing. I'm currently only using the petal, this pink one in the middle. It just gives my eyes more depth, but at the same time, it's so, I know, I'm sorry, I'm not using a brush or anything, heresy, I know. I'm just putting it on with my finger because fuck it. The point of this video is that I want to show how simple my routine is. See that? It's so nice and subtle. It's just like the perfect pink for me. I really, really like that petal shade. I finally found a nice pink. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. So for eyeliner, I don't use eyeliner anymore. <laughs> I switched off of mascara and I'll show you that in a bit. Um, the product I use now is brown. So I use the brown shades on this end to put on the corner of my eye just to darken it a little bit. So I either go with the very darkest one or the one lighter one here if I want to go more subtle. So I literally just like do this and then I put it on the corner of my eye. So it's very simple, but I think just having a little bit more depth in the corner already helps a lot just to improve the look. Okay, I didn't totally fuck up that side. Whatever, guys. But yeah, that's how I use that. So to finish up my eyes, I use They're Real. <laughs> So the brand is Benefit Tinted Primer. This is a primer for your eyelashes. Um, and I got it because it's brown. I like using mascara, I'm fine with it, but I'm always worried that putting it on and taking it off every day damages my eyelashes. So I was like, I kind of want something different. My hair is brown naturally. So I feel like brown eyelashes would look less intense compared to black. I'm trying to just find like a natural look. I always fuck up my left side because I am super right-handed. It's fine. It's a gaming channel. No one cares. So brown tinted primer. That's pretty nice, right? I'm not good at putting mascara on. I'm sure I can do it better, but it's not my best, but we're getting there. That's pretty much my eyes, except for a final step. This, 
NARS. This is a matte concealer. I love matte because I hate my face being shiny. Um, so yeah, you can see, I feel like this side, this side is fine, but this side is so dark. So I always put like a little bit extra on this side just to make it lighter. It's mostly this crease that I need to be most aware of. If I cover that up, I'm pretty much good. The rest doesn't really matter. Or at least I don't care. <laughs> this little thing is also really fun. This is Trini London. Um, so this, I don't really need it today because I have like, oh, well, I think I'm getting a couple zits here and that's why my skin is kind of red. But some, some days I'm just like, I feel super pale. So then I have this and I just put a tiny bit, oh God, this is gonna go horribly wrong. Tiny bit like this along my cheekbones to give myself a blush. And it's so easy to apply because it's just using my finger. That just, I don't know, it blends well in with the rest of my face. Um, I did it. I did a poor job today. Just don't look at it in detail. When I go through it like this, I'm just like, oh, this is another eyeshadow I've used a lot. Um, this is the sparkly one that you guys see a lot. Um, this is Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. It's like a, just a little pot. I think they call it a jewel pot. Um, I usually put that on a lot, but I lately I've been using the petal more because it's just a a nice soft pink and it's such a safe color. The last step is lips, obviously. I've used lipsticks for a long time and usually matte lipsticks and I just could not keep them on. I would like chew them off or lick them off all the time. Um, so I started switching to tinted lip balms. These are my favorites. Again, it's Charlotte Tilbury. This is Pillow Talk and this is Everlasting Kiss. It's a lip balm or yeah lip balm lipstick hybrid um, so i just put it on on the bottom that's it my lips look a lot better it's so easy but yeah this is a lot um it's more like a lip balm so it's more moisturizer moist, moisturizing it locks in the moisture on my lips and it makes it so that i feel less like i want to lick it off constantly <laughs> it sounds so weird but yeah i just can't really i can't really deal with lipstick this is also a really good one that i got very recently this is also benefit oh same same brand i didn't even know um as the the primer uh, eyelash primer um, but yeah this is moisturizing lip balm but it's uh, it's very tinted and it's very nice and very thick but this this is definitely my go-to this is the one that's just super nice and it stays on out for hours which is nice i also really like this nars one the we joke about this on twitch a lot when we do just chatting because the the color is called orgasm for some reason i don't know why but this is like a nice pink color that i like i don't use this one anymore but this one the cherry this is um baby lips <laughs> All these names are so fucking stupid, man. This is Baby Lips by Maybelline. Yeah, this is like a really red cherry. This is just a lip balm as well, but it just gives my, if I want to be super quick, it just gives my lip like a little bit more of an, a reddish pinkish color. So the makeup is on, the makeup slash not makeup. So then I just let my hair down. It's so curly now because I put it in a bun for a tiny bit. And then these bad boys come out and uh, I'm good. That's it. <laughs> See that? <laughs> yeah, I'm really getting a couple zits here. I think I need to do a special face, wa face wash today. I have like um, little devices that the brush just like spins. You just push a button and the, it has like a little brush that spins. So I put like face wash on and then just like wash my face like that. If you really want to know what that is, ask me in the comments and then I'll reply to that. I'll, I'll walk to the bathroom and check. I'm not good at makeup, but I found just something that works for me. It makes me look more like I'm awake and ready and I like the subtle pink colors. Obviously, you can tell that I'm, I have makeup on, but it's all very light. 
So it's like CC cream, um, the moisturizer concealer. Those are like the most important things. And then I darken my eyebrows a tiny bit, the primer and the lipstick. This is like, this is my core, oh, my core makeup. <laughs> I know a lot of people probably don't even care about what routine I have, but I hope it helps some people who are struggling with makeup, don't really know what to do, but kind of still want to use makeup anyway. Then this, I feel like is such a nice, easy way to do it. Even if you don't do like the eyeshadow or the, like the little darkened corner, just putting like this CC cream on, I think, and maybe a little bit of a, ooh, ooh, I caught it, a little bit of moisturizing concealer if you're worried about dark spots. Not everyone is. Some people are very lucky in life not to have massive dark circles to the point where people ask if you fell on your face. Um, some people are lucky like that, you know? <laughs> also, why this one is nice is it has 40 SPF. So if you go outside, it's very nice. There's also a non-matte version. This is matte because I don't like my face being shiny, but you all, there's also an illuminating one if you like a more shiny face. They have multiple versions, so I definitely, this is like the best thing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys soon with something else. <laughs>